Josiah, I'm going to read you a story about a little dog who liked to get very dirty. His name was Harry. We're going to read out of this book here on page 249. This picture over here is what you need to find. It's called Harry and the Dirty Dog. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. And then he ran away from home. See over here is, if I can get my page to stay open. Harry, he's running away with a brush. He doesn't like baths. Do you like to take a bath? Look at these pictures. He played up here where they were fixing the street, and he got very dirty. And he played along the railroad, and he got even dirtier. And then he played tags with the other dogs up here, and he became dirtier still. And he slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he had changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. He was so dirty, he looked like a whole different dog. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too. So without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, There's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? So here you go, see Harry. He's sitting here watching. And the little boy, he doesn't even think it's Harry because it looks so different because he's so dirty. When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all of his old clever tricks. He flip-flopped and he flop-flipped and he rolled over and played dead. And he danced, and he sang, and he did those tricks over and over again. But everyone shook their head and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. See, here's Harry doing all of his tricks. Some flips, and he's walking around. He just wants his family to recognize him. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate. But suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He'd found the scrubbing brush, and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed, with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging, with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he had certainly never done before. This little doggy wants a bath! cried the little girl, and her father said, well, why don't you and your brother give him one? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he once again became a white dog with black spots. See, here he is in the bathtub begging for a bath. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. See, here's Harry sleeping. He's all clean. And right there, he hid the scrubbing brush again so he wouldn't have to take another bath. That's the end.